Here's a super easy to follow foolproof strategy for ravine on hard with no monkey knowledge. We're going to start by taking a druid and placing him right here in this little corner there and make sure that you have your Benjamin. Not going to be able to place him for a little while, but just make sure you have him. And if you don't have a Benjamin yet, what are you doing on expert maps? Because Benjamin is the best for everything in this game besides chimps mode. Let's take another 430 and place a druid right here on this side to cover this right here. Now, I think this map is a little harder than quad hard, money puddles hard, or even ouch hard because it's kind of different, right? Like on quad, yes, we have four entrances and exits, but they're all equal in the ways they come out and stuff. This one, if they both come out of here, then more might come this way or more might come this way that round, weighing them different each side, which to me makes it more difficult because you got to have to stack it up a little differently. <laughs> None of that really matters here. We're going to grab Thorn Swarm. As long as you follow along, you're going to beat this no matter what. And make sure, make sure, make sure that you have all of your monkey knowledge turned on. There's no reason to do this to yourself because trust me, it's way harder than it needs to be without monkey knowledge. Use those mana shields use those spikes at the end of the track use your free dart monkey and definitely use that extra cash in the beginning i only do this so you guys have a guaranteed foolproof way of beating it let's grab heart of oak on that druid on the right during round 13 we're going to have enough for our druid of the jungle so i'm going to slow it down and make sure we can get it right as we can and every time i upgrade you guys should upgrade fast if not faster than me so i'm assuming you guys kind of watch this pause it go back and do it yourself upgrade faster than i do i'm talking so i might do it a little slower but there is going to be some randomness to this a lot of this has to do with his little spike thingies here that pop up sometimes they'll stay up there and you'll never see a balloon the entire round other times they won't pop to down here and you lose a bunch of lives so to make up for that randomness upgrade quicker and use your monkey knowledge during this round on round 18 we're gonna have enough for our benjamin slow it down and make sure you place them before the end of the round so we can get that 150 dollars next what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a ninja right here on this side grabbing ninja discipline seeking shurikens and sharp shurikens as you can tell we're losing a lot of lives here but do not worry guys we will make them back benjamin will start giving us our lives here soon we're placing another ninja on this side grabbing ninja discipline seeking shurikens and good old sharp shurikens now we don't have any lead popping except for like the the passive little vines that pop up but that's not the best so we're gonna grab hard thorns to make sure we can pop anything that's lead that comes out at us next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bomb and place it right here on this side grabbing extra range frag bombs and cluster bombs we're gonna take another bomb placing on this side behind this ninja grabbing extra range frag bombs and cluster bombs just like that now I'm gonna grab bigger bombs on both of these, just bigger bombs. We don't need the heavy bombs for now, just bigger will get us through this whole mess. Now, the next thing I wanna do is get ready for that Moab that's coming out. Benjamin does a great job of using his Trojan to put onto the Moab to where we only have to pop it down. We don't have to break what's inside, but we don't have a great way of actually popping it right now. So we're gonna use a sniper for that. So we're gonna grab full metal jacket, fast firing, even faster firing, placing his targeting on strong, just like I did there. And with 1620, we're gonna grab large caliber. Now in round 37, there's camos that come out here at the end. We're gonna use our first ability. It's the first and only time we're gonna use our ability because the ninja can't do it on his own. He still can't even with the ability but it's better than nothing. And then with 3240, we're going to be grabbing deadly precision on that sniper. And now he is a foolproof Moab popping machine, destroying round 40 for us. But as you know, on round 42, we have no camo. So we're going to prep for that right now by grabbing a village and placing it all the way to the right, right here, making sure it's in range of both of the bombs, but all the way to the right. So once we get that camo and that bigger radius upgrade, it'll get in our druids range as well. So we're going to grab grow blocker and watch this Moab get destroyed. Super easy stuff. And here's our camo popping power for all these guys so we're gonna grab bigger radius as well so now our druid can even pop the camo the next step is to take a plane and place it all the way right here to the right grabbing sharper darts centered path never miss targeting rapid fire and lots more darts and then we're gonna change his targeting to actual figure infinite I think that's a good one because if you don't he kind of circles the whole track and then once we get further into the game he'll miss a lot so we're just gonna let him sit back here so everything goes in that direction we're then gonna grab an alchemist placing him all the way at the bottom to where he only affects affects the plane. We're gonna grab larger potions, acidic mixture dip, berserker brew, stronger acid, and perishing potions. Next, we're gonna be taking a village Placing it right there, grabbing increased production, greater production, easy collect, banana salvage, and the marketplace. Upgrade those quicker than I am too. I just keep forgetting that I have farms. We're going to place another one right here, grabbing increased production. The faster you upgrade them, the faster they're going to make you more money back. So you want to get those out as quickly as you can, obviously. We're going to grab our second micro place, micro place, marketplace. That's what we call those. And at the end of this round, at the end of round 51, we now have 100 lives, which is great. 
Benjamin is a champ. He does so much for us. He gives us all of our lives back. He Trojans all of the Moabs in BFB class for us. And then on top of that, he gives us money each round. I love this guy. 54 can be a problem round, so we're actually going to upgrade to the main Moab because the Moabs are so random with Benjamin. Sometimes he'll stop them, sometimes he won't with the Trojans. So it's better just to have this guy to stop them all. And because this one is random based on those little thorns that pop up, don't forget, guys, if you have any trouble or you feel like it's getting too far past your people here, basically it shouldn't be even getting this far at all anymore so if it does get all the way down here just hit this little gear button hit home and don't die because then you can just keep on retrying this round it isn't chimp so you're still going to get the same medals and rewards is awesome like just right there good example on round 60 forgot my own strategy because i'm sitting there talking about random stuff i had to hit home but guess what didn't lose so we're good to go what we're going to do for this round is we're actually going to sell both of our bombs so we don't need them anymore we're going to sell this farm up here now we have enough money for a specter and that specter is going to guarantee us victory through round 60 61 62 63 now, what's kind of crazy, though, is we're going to have to buy another plane right away in range of the Alchemist. Yeah, right here. And the reason why is because it just makes no sense to me. Even though we have a Spectre, he's not as good at hitting things as the regular Nevamiss targeting is. It's super sad to me because he's just this long stream of darts and he misses. Look at how big he's whiffing right now. So if we didn't have this little guy picking up all the slack, we'd probably lose. Next thing I want to do is get a little bit more money. I don't like having to sell that guy like that. So we're just actually going to upgrade a little bit better because as you could probably tell this guy isn't going to hold on on his own the specter's a little, a little shoddy let's grab another marketplace there and now we'll work on phase four of the plan we're going to take a boat and place him right there grabbing long range crow's nest faster shooting double shot and destroyer now you're probably wondering why i bought a destroyer because it just sits there and doesn't do anything but the specter can actually hang on right now pretty well so we're just going to let him do his thing while we save up for an aircraft carrier once he's an aircraft carrier he'll actually help us fight in this battle there we go with that aircraft carrier now he's going to help now if back on round 60 when i sold my farm and my bombs to get enough money for whatever reason you guys didn't have enough money i don't see how you could because i upgraded my farms pretty late most likely what's going to happen is you didn't need to sell your farm to buy your specter and that's what we're going for there so if that's the case just keep your farm and don't sell it i know these things can get a little confusing when we use farms and we have monkey knowledge you don't have monkey knowledge but this should be relatively easy as long as you just do everything that i do now this carrier flagship's only twenty-seven thousand dollars. so what we need to do is save up seventeen thousand dollars and then sell both of our farms because they're roughly five thousand grab our carrier your flagship now look at that now we got a carrier flagship you can't beat it we're gonna grab a village right here we're gonna grab bigger radius and jungle drums what the heck that's so weird you can't place towers on the carrier flagship on this map that's technically just the ground what the heck why is that i never knew that so here's the big scary round 80 i don't even think we're gonna even see the zomg yeah it just turned straight to bfbs because we have the sniper but easy stuff guys don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you and if you need more help with these hard maps with no monkey knowledge check out this video here on ouch hard with no monkey knowledge it's really easy, actually.